trouble with the hero, eh, Spyro? Game is copyright work, just in case you guys wanted to know that little bit of information. As the game wants to tell me every single time we start up. But hello! Welcome to a much more gentle music. With musical tones brought to you by... Dragons. Love them, hate them, or don't believe in them, they're here to stay. We now return you to your regular questing. But hello! We have recently gone through three of the side things that are only located in the Definitive Edition, as far as I've been told. And I'm interested to see where the rest of the group is. We're still missing three of them, so that may all that may be all we do today. That's gonna be my quest today, is to get through the rest of these side quests so we can get to our main hero. Me. But here's what happens so far. Eric finds himself held in a cell, but soon escapes with the help of Elijah, a sweet-natured slime that is definitely not going to betray him and steal his mind. Hello, Phoenix. Hope you're having a good day. The two fight their way out of the loathsome lair beyond the bars and emerge into the sunlight at last, only to be accosted by the spectral sentinel Ingenius which sounds like a Power Rangers villain, and a horde of horrible monsters. You don't know how horrible they are. They could pay their monster taxes. And, I don't know, plant plants and eat people. Okay, well, anyways. Outnumbered and overwhelmed, Eric gamely goes to work on the enemies arrayed against him, but it soon becomes clear that he's in the need of some serious help. Help that Elijah can offer, but at a price. Though it may mean losing the memory of his beloved friends, especially really his best friend, definitely not self-inserting myself there, uh, he accepts anyways and is granted a power that enables him to annihilate the opposition, or at least seem kind of wounded a little. But just as he's about to finish up by defeating Indignius, the power leaves as quickly as it came and a counterblow sends him soaring over the edge into the clouds below. As he falls, someone calling herself a the Seer appears and leaves him with these words. Where there is life, there is hope. He awakens to find himself on an unknown shore, a shadow of his former self, uncertain of who he even is. Even though losing memory of himself was not part of the deal. Stupid monkey's paws. Didn't even really give him the power to defeat the monster either. He like shattered his chest bone or something, but that was it. Eh? Who is? Oh no! He's at the end of Kingdom Hearts 3. What is happening? Why is he at the end of the world? Where am I? Uh, you, where aren't you? How did I get here? I can't remember a thing. Why is he here? <gasps> huh? Random money girl? Jings! Uh, is that? No, it can't be. Things. Do I know who that is? <gasps> it is. It's her. Fresh from the pages of the Ogler's Digest. Oof. And large as life. But she's just default bunny girl number three. The first clue what's going on around these parts. But I reckon I could do worse than ask a lassie here. Well, Rob, what are you waiting for? Shall no hang around forever? She can totally you hear you. There's not really left. anything that could stop your you voice from reaching her. Uh, have you a okay. moment to spare for a sweet, harmless old man, Hen? I appreciate that they somehow textified his accent. Instead of just saying old, they put old. Alright, let me make sure all of his stuff is actually... Actually, it doesn't matter if it is or not. Yep, because I don't have a... I don't have any of my stuff. Okay, hello! Come back, little bunny. Is he in... Oh, I caught it. I was say, is he in, like, an actual torture illusion where he keeps chasing after something and he can't reach it uh, mm -hmm. 
Hey, what just happened? <laughs> Come on! <laughs> now he's back at his. This can he be? But but it is. It's Dundrasil, just as it once was. Right before it exploded into a million pieces. <laughs> oh wait. Looking sharp, your majesty. <gasps> All right, what kind of demon are you? What? <gasps> oh, I thought she was pointing at her shoes. My old robes. But, but how? What in the world's going on? Would you care to What kind of demon me, is this? <laughs> Walk this way. No. Walk this way, talk this way. My bunny-eared pal headed off in the direction of the throne room, which is behind me, even though she went that way. Assuming this is the real Dundersil castle, that is. Well, that's a good place as any to head for, I suppose. I'll see what the folks on the way have to say for themselves. I guess maybe this is the exit instead of the throne room. Give me your majesty, but I cannot allow you... I can't allow you to proceed. There's a private meeting in pro- I'm the king! You can't have a private meeting against the king! <laughs> or at least, you know, don't tell him about it. What's the matter, your majesty? You look like you've seen a ghost. Anyway, shouldn't you be heading for the throne room? You've got important audiences, I understand. If you're late, the chief minister will have your guts for the goddess. Okay. Hello, small children. Are you busy, your majesty? When you're finished with whatever it is you're doing, let's play hide-and-seek again. Well, I'll win. Good day to you, your majesty. It's another peaceful day in the wonderful kingdom of Dundrasil. We owe it all to you enlighten me. Now to business. How may the church assist you, faithful disciple? I'm good. I don't need to say what I think. I'm sure there's probably, like, some secret super item I'm missing in some of these. Did he have a queen? If so, this is probably going to be very sad. So he's finally summoned the code to do it, has he? Oh, your majesty. Didn't see you there. Hope you're keeping well. Are you talking about me? He's finally going to do it. You know what I'm talking about, don't you? Yep. Alright, well, what's over here? Hello, minister. Ah, there you are, your majesty. Been looking for you everywhere. You must remember I'm, me telling you you had an important audience scheduled. You know, back when the whole planet exploded. It's almost time. Hurry on over to the throne and prepare yourself. Okay, which one do I sit on? You have no business with the queen's throne just now, your majesty. Okay, fine. Rude. So he did have a queen? But, but she's gone. Also, I didn't even actually. I, I didn't trust actually sit well, on the throne. Father. Why is that guy Eleanor, sweating? Erwin, it, it really is you, and and you're young again. What's going on? What are you talking about? Uh. I'm Your Majesty. He is eternally sweating. Please forgive my insolence in seeking a personal audience with you today. I come before you not as the head of the princess's honor guard, but as my own man. Uh huh. Well, I mean, um, very well. State your business. What are you on about? We already had this uh, discussion about well, twenty uh, years ago, didn't you we? You see, then. Um, the, the, the thing is, I, uh... uh oh, just uh, do it. Uh, well, um, um, uh, <laughs> I wish to ask for your daughter's hand in marriage. Well, what a surprise. Uh, Erwin. I refused you then, and, and I'll refuse you now. a soldier, and all too aware of my own lowly position. Nevertheless, I must persist. 
For there is one thing of which I am certain. My sword arm is steadfast. And, we'll and my heart unwavering. Get you killed. There is no man alive who will love, honor, and protect your daughter as I can. Is that an insult towards me? <laughs> your Majesty, I place my faith. And all these in other faceless soldiers around here. Will you allow me to continue to serve and protect your daughter? Not as the head of her honor guard, uh, but as her dutiful and loving. Is husband. this where I get a choice? No, I didn't want it. I didn't want the choice. Um. Uh. I don't know anything about you, though. What do I say? Uh. This might be one of those choices where it's not a choice. If I say no, it'll force me to say yes, anyways. But. I could also be incorrect on this. I mean, she seems pretty satisfied with it. That's what really matters, right? Uh... I haven't a clue. Phoenix, what should we do? Do I say yes or no? Don't sit there and sip. Nah, why not? This is probably fake and the demon's gonna eat our souls anyways. Might as well say yes. And if it goes bad, I'll just load the game. Save no. I'm above the consequences. Uh, I can hardly turn you down after that little performance. I mean, I could. I had the option. And to tell you the truth, I always had an inkling you two might one day be wed. Oh, father. Oh, father. It's a shame it's we're gonna you, blow Herman. up. Don't disappoint me. You hear? Thank you. Alright, he's You're no longer sure. sweating. Thank you. I'm not sure if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Oh, Don't be a demon. Now what in the world's going on here? Oh no, everything's going wiggly. Uh oh. Uh, uh, huh? Huh? <laughs> huh? The bunny's back? Crevens! Where do you spring from, Lassie? And where's everybody gone? <laughs> Did you enjoy your little trip down memory lane? N no. Well, it's not over yet. This is an interesting way to handle a flashback, but also, what's happening? Your Majesty is everything all right. Looking to be with a befuddled, if you don't mind my saying so. What's that you say? Queen Eleanor and King Urban lost forevermore? Oh, come now. It's the nerves talking, that's all. Wait, King? I'm the King! Speaking of nerves, the father to be seems more than a little jumpy himself. Went flying down the throne room not long ago like a man possessed. I guess this is already... I don't know. I guess I'm already retired at this point. Hello, I'm here to steal things from my own castle. Sage's elixir. A book. It's sad that he has to jump for it, but... Ever since the day I sighted the throne of young young Owen, the lad poured his heart and soul making Dundrasil the greatest kingdom it could possibly be. No, otherwise known as a scrapyard now. Never raised his royalty, and I must admit, I shared some of my subjects' doubt whether he truly suited for the role at first. But now I know the man of my choice. He soon gained the trust and respect, and might as well. The entire nation is united behind him. My dear Eleanor has made a very fine choice as husband indeed. Which means I can get on with enjoying my retirement. This did not come to be. Oh no, she's blocking the way. Queen of Quiet and 
needs quiet and rest right now. Plenty of it. I know you want to see it, but please give us some space. What's that? You give him permission to tad... Just giving them permission to wed? Your Majesty! I understand you're anxious, but please get a grip on yourself. That was nine months ago. <laughs> At least! <laughs> There you are, Lord Abbot. I was hoping I might have the chance to speak with you about something before the child was born. Before the child was born? Well now, it's the day of my grandson's birth, is it? Your Majesty? Sorry, lad. You were saying something you wanted to discuss. Ah, it's the child's name. I've been having trouble thinking of anything suitable. So much trouble that's been distracting me from anything else, if I'm honest. I wonder if you might see your way to reprising your role as a king for a wee while, so I have some time to think it over. No. Please, your majesty, no one else I can ask. You'll be doing myself in kingdom of great service. You'll do it, won't you? I... I guess I don't have a choice in the matter. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. You will not, not have much to do, I promise. There's just two items of agenda for day. Something more than used to, receiving those who seek a royal audience, giving them counsel. Chief Minister will be on hand to help you with most pressing issues. Second will be to make rounds of the castle and assist anyone who needs your aid. The idea of the king aiding his subjects directly was, of course, something you yourself initiated during your reign. Yeah, and I went to retire for it. I didn't want to do it again. I'll be down by the fountain downstairs. It's where I do my best thinking. Once you're taking care of the day's business, please come and find me. I'm truly grateful for you agreeing to this. Again, I didn't have a choice, but what? Also, I didn't know me putting a crown on the dragon would be so relevant. For today's stream. He's so kind to take a seat and throw and you're ready to begin discussing your royal duties. Okay. Sit down and get to work. Let's commence with the, today's internet. As you know, your role is to hear out those who come before you and use your wisdom to give counsel and representative of the crown of Dundersil. This won't go well. Really, is always good at giving advice. Your Majesty, let me first express to you my gratitude for granting. Yeah, yes, yeah, skip the theatrics, dear. I have traveled all the way from the Kingdom of Sniffleheim to seek it. The matter I wish to bring before you to do has been greatly exercising the ruler of my land. He very much seeks, desires to seek the counsel of the Crown of Dundrasil, paragon of peace and prosperity, and probably explosions. Go on. In regard to the royal treasure that's been handed down from the generation of, to generation of our royal line, it's known as the Blue Orb, and alas, it has vanished, presumed stolen. King Gustav has used every means at his disposal to try and identify the thief and recover the most precious heirloom, but to no avail. However, the list of likely culprits has been identified, four to be precise. Sadly, there's insufficient evidence to conclusive, uh, conclusively identify the thief. And so we find ourselves at an impasse. Have you tried looking for more evidence? <gasps> Brilliant! I hadn't considered that. We just grabbed a note that said I did it and identified their handwriting. Hmm. What else can we do? So you need to whittle down your list of suspects, but you're no clear means of which to do so. Alright, let's have a wee thing. First thing to identify the likely motive. What reason might a person have to want to get their mitts on the blue orb. Uh, for the money? Treasure would be like that, bring a pretty penny. A warrant. Aye, that'll be why the thief did it now. Next, we consider the matter of means. You cannot just walk in and off the street and help yourself to a pride of the royal treasure house. So what kind of person could have done it? A master of disguise. Aye, that'll be it. The thief wants to disguise himself as a guard or such like and strolled right on in without anyone looking at him twice. Which me leads me to conclude that it was you! That our culprit's an experienced professional thief and is probably standing in front of me. Go back and line up your suspects. Tell them that the order they stole was a fake and that whoever took it must have been an amateur and a fool. Any innocent party will surely see the funny side, but one person certainly won't crack a smile. The veteran whose skills you've called into question. A marvelous display of reasoning, your majesty. With your blessing, I shall return to Sniffleheim and inform King to stop of your counsel. Is this your final judgment of the matter, I take it? King of Sniffleheim owes you a great debt, your majesty. I shall journey back immediately and share your shrewd insights with the king. 
I'm sure he'll find them amusing as I did. Goodbye. I must commend you for your wise counsel, Lord Robert. Your advice is doubtless lead to the unmasking of the rogue who stole the treasure. Shall we move on to the next matter? I guess. Without further delay, let me present you with the next problem warranting your attention. Is there a reason I'm not sitting on the throne? Wait, is it you? The Sultan of Galopolis salutes the mighty king of Ah! Your Majesty, I trust that message finds you well. Word of the continued triumphs and glories of your kingdom reaches us on a daily basis, and we're like, wow, why do we keep getting news of this? In truth, I write seeking counsel for this very reason. As you may know, the Sultanate has suffered a prolonged heat wave. I don't know how to say words. The land is parched, and we fear for this year's harvest. As ruler of a realm of plenty, I beseech you, share with us the secrets of your prosperity that we might avert disaster. I await your reply on the return of a writer, your humble servant, the Sultan of Galapagos. The message ends there. I do not wish to pressure you, Your Majesty, but His Excellency the Sultan most, was most desirous of a f swift response. This is gonna call her something later, and I don't like that. Drought position, drought prevention advice, eh? Can't say it's a problem we've ever faced all over this way, if I'm honest. Let's talk about the basics, shall we? If I'm gonna reply to reply, I need to decide the tone of the letter first. Uh... Being gracious doesn't really... Why would I be gracious? He doesn't... Uh... Hmm... What to do with the drought? Let's weigh up the options. Think outside the box. This will go well. Right, that's it, I've got it. Quick, take this down before I forget. My dear Sultan, I understand that your kingdom's at risk of a severe drought. Put it simply, there's simply limits to what one can do in such a situation. You could start a fire. Might I suggest you take a leaf out of the book of the tribes of ancient times? I speak, of course, of the sacred ritual of the rain dance. Only the chief of the tribe, you in other words, may perform it. Belly dance for three days and three nights without rest or sustenance before the den of a dragon. Then and only then might you be saved. I don't think that's accurate. Well, get your best, get it all written up in your best fancy handwriting of those nice scrolls. A marvelous missive, your majesty. If you don't mind me saying, now just confirm. You're happy to write down what you just said, but said about the No. Alright, um, somewhat stern. Conventional wisdom. Alright, let's see how this one goes. As from on high, and any ruler worth the name must be able to rise to such a challenge. I do not wish to sound unduly harsh, but rather than asking the rules of other kingdoms to help, you must look closer to home. You must believe in yourself and in your people. Lead them, inspire them, encourage them to till the soil with all their hearts, and new crops will surely spring forth given time. But you must be strong, you must be a beacon in this time of need. Hello, Riesling. Hope you're having a good day. That sounds more... Kingly. Yes. Excellent. We'll send it back to Galopolis with the right rider right away. So we send the next visitor, I guess. Whoa! I'm a bear! I'm just hanging out. I barely know you, King. As I'm sure you're aware, this pugilistic tournament's held regularly in the town of Octagonia. Or fighters from all four corners of the world compete to prove their worth. Naturally, there's no shortage of young hopefuls keen to represent Dundrasil in the next grand event of this kind. To that end, I wish to pre present you with the kingdom's three final candidates. Who better than a fighting man like yourself, Lord Robert, to assess their potential? 
If it pleases your majesty, could you step forward and pick the one you might think of champion in the making? Do I have to kill them all? I'm the champion. Forget all of you guys. You're picking me, are you? <laughs> That's the pure devil's billion, that is. You won't regret it. My opponents will, though. Herk, herk, herk. So we're good to go, I. Uh, make up your mind. Making me worried there. I don't know. A typically discerning choice, Your Majesty. Those blessed with that rarest of fine talents. Luck. He's made it through all of his qualifying bouts without conceding a round. I I'm afraid I'm not brimming with confidence, Your Majesty, but. But if you pick me, I, I, I'll cross my fingers really hard and hope for the best. So what do you, do you say? No. I don't blame you, to be honest. I mean, who picks a 97-pound weakling to represent the kingdom? Oh, well. I guess my luck finally ran out. That's a real wild one without a shred of decency or compassion for his fellow fighter. An animal who suffered nothing to achieve victory. Can't bear some of the things people say about me, you know. Not that bad, honestly. Alright, uh, you're gonna choose me or what? Ah, uh, well, I suppose let's grin and bear it. I don't really know. They're all kind of bad. Can I pick you? Uh, wait a moment, Joe Matt. See, you're not, you're not seriously suggesting. No, surely not. You can be p p p picking me, can you? Yes. This seems like the optimal choice. Phew! Thought you were serious for the moment there. If you were good enough to get down to business picking your actual candidate, that'd be wonderful. Can I pick myself? I look clean. Eh, I guess everyone's dead today. Not surprising. Anyways, I'm picking this guy. Oh, whoops. I accidentally pressed B. No! I mean, really, Your Majesty, you, you just should. Yes, of course you do. Don't you? Please tell me. Thank goodness for that! I should have known it was not something you wrote since you were. How are you going to apply yourself to the serious business of selecting the finest fighter? But, if that's your decision, then far be it for me to question it. I shall. Grid my loins, flex my muscles, and enter the ring with the most brutal warriors in the world. I think you'll be fine. Happy to report that includes all your royal duties for today. Those held in the throne room, at least. But as I believe King Erwin mentioned, there may be troubled souls somewhere in the castle that require your assistance. May I suggest you take a little stroll around the grounds? Oh, but before you depart, let me say it was an absolute pleasure to witness you at work today. It's been far too long. I have to say, your kingly judgment is as sharp as ever was. Sadly, I will probably be dead, as you just forced me to go into a tournament. Hello! Good day to you and your majesty. Look for King Owen is in the usual spot by the fountain down below. Looks like he got a lot on his mind. Your majesty, you'll always know as a wise ruler. One who knew a thing or two about a thing or two. Well, I was wondering if I might be bold enough to make a sole request of you. I would very much like to ask you some questions in order to see your formidable intellect at work. So what do you say? Will you indulge me? Why, thank you, Your Majesty. Without further ado, let me see your... Let me give you some posters. All I require is your infinite wisdom. Simply supply me with a simple true or false in response to each one. Ready? Here we go. You, Lord Robert, are in fact the youngest of three brothers. First off, it's not really wisdom if you ask me true or false questions about myself, especially ones that I don't actually know. Um... Let's see, did I... Have we ever actually identified that? Um... We did talk about brothers at some point, but I can't remember if that was even related to this guy. Hmm... Let me think. Well, he's the king. We haven't had any mention of any uncles. But, eh, let's go. Worst case scenario, I miss out on something stupid. 
so... True. Correct, but that was too easy, was it not? Let me give you a sterner challenge for a second question. Here it comes. True or false, the purple orb is one of the royal treasures of the Sniffleheim. No, that's the blue one. Correct, bravo! Now I'm going to tell you one more of a challenge, so let's increase the difficulty a little. Drow Dracillian Sovereign we use a currency in our kingdom is worth 10 Dracillian shillings. True? I can see your champion in anticipation your wait, your champion at the bit in anticipation of more testing questions. Let's see how you enjoy this one. The Sultan of Galapagos has a single son upon whom he dotes excessively. True? No. Oh, right, he hasn't had a child yet. It seems you're unwilling to give free reign your immense intellect. Wait, do I, can I just do it again? Oh, well, that kind of ruins the whole point, then. False. True. False. Your Majesty, you've crushed my... You've cruised effortlessly into my final question. True or false? In addition to the four great kingdoms that make up Andrea, there was once a fifth. True. <gasps> you did it, Your Majesty! You answered every single question correctly! But then I expect nothing less when you're given infinite tries. Truly, I've witnessed an epic feat of intellectual prowess. But never forget what I have truly... what I have observed here today. The sight of a... sight of a matchless mind spreading its wings and taking flight is something I shall take to the grave. Here, small token of my appreciation. Oh, thanks. I did hit the, hit the books and memorize yet more obscure trivia that I may one day reach your heady heights. We did it. You look like you need help. Nope, never mind. You look like you need help. Forgive me from bothering you with just such a trifling matter, Your Majesty. I have a wee problem I'd like to ask your advice about. Truth there's someone in the castle who's caught my eye, but I cannot master the courage to tell him how I feel. Probably the girl right there. I had an idea. I know it sounds like I'm out of my tree. What if they got flowers delivered by none other than yourself? I reckon they'd be all over the moon. So what do you say? No. Oh. Deliver your own dang flowers. Won't mean anything if it's from me. That's not romantic. You look important and robust. You must be very excited about the baby, Your Majesty. I know I am. In fact, I'm pre I prepared a beautiful bouquet of flowers to present Queen Eleanor. I run an exclusive florist, don't you know? Alright, so I have to talk to him for the flowers. Fine, I'll do it. Yeah, yeah. Well, they're in the castle. They're wearing green. Oh, and they got red hair. Good luck. Why don't you just tell me their name? They're wearing green. This man has red hair and is dressed in green. He might be the person who loves the god we want you to deliver flowers to. Present him with the pretty posy? No. She has red hair and is wearing green. But... Sorry, Your Majesty. Floors have to be polished, so I cannot let you walk on them. Wouldn't want you slipping and cracking your head now, would we? Look of a King Herb when he's over by the fountain. That's kind of rude to insinuate that I am so clumsy that I would do such a thing. Oh, hello, Your Majesty. You must be very careful or very excited about the baby. Present her with a pretty posy? No, I'm gonna decline. Red hair, wearing green. It's all my fault. That was the one who dropped the pepper pot. It's calamity. What do we do without pepper? Ah, your majesty. Cometh at this hour. Cometh the man. Cometh the hour, cometh the man. When we're in the middle of a wee culinary emergency, you see, and we could do with the assistance of someone such as yourself. A gastronome, shall we say? A butterfingered fool of a maid managed to drop the very last pot of pepper from the castle larder, and it smashed and went everywhere. Sure, you can imagine what the guards will say when they sit down to their neeps and tatties, and there's no seasoning to be had. What? There will be an uproar! Please, your majesty, help us in your hour of need. Excellent. I knew you wouldn't let us down. Now, if you wouldn't mind searching the castle, we need something nice and pungent we can use instead of pepper. 
I was thinking the plants around the castle might yield something useful. It's certainly worth a look, anyway. But don't restrain... Don't restrict your search to plants alone. You never know where the perfect condiment might be hiding. Yeah, pulling stuff off of random plants sounds like a good way to get everyone killed. Well, what do I know? I got a special antidote. Well, back up the stairs we go. Hmm. I have a feeling that somewhere I read that the berries from this planet may taste a wee bit like pepper. No. There's not even any berries on that. It's a flower. You're wearing green and have red hair. Forgive me, your majesty. Baines who brings you dinner dropped a pot of pepper. Now I cannot stop sneezing. Just hope none of it drifts to the queen's room. Sure she's having a hard time enough. Hard enough time already. Oh, I guess you don't qualify. Also, s drop pepper in here, huh? What's the down in the bottom of the basket here? Crikey! This takes me back. Then they find her food, then peach pie decorated with a picture of a lovely... What? Funny girl? Well, if there is, I've never seen it. Now I know exactly what you... I know it's not exactly what you'd describe as peppery, but it would certainly spice things up a bit. I reckon a lot in the kitchen would do with a wee challenge. No. That's not pepper, that's a picture. So there's no pepper, like, on the floor around here or something? Hmm. Well, I appreciate the tension to, uh... To detail here, they have a bunny girl magazine under his bed. Hmm. What do you guys think? What things should we grab? Oh, and also I don't see anyone else. I figured it might be like a young maid or something he was interested in. Oh, wait. <sighs> King Owen and Eleanor all look so happy. That's true love for you. I suppose it could happen to me. I suppose this is hoping for too much. This woman has red hair and green dress. She might be the object of love that guards affection. Hmm, hang on. Let me talk to this guy. Or this girl. Oh, cannot wait for the wee one to be born. Getting that excited. You're thinking of my own flesh and blood. Alright, I can't talk to you. I can't give you the posy. For some reason. Are you really giving this to me, your majesty? I'm a very flattered, but I've never gone over a minute. Hold on a wee second, lassie. These aren't for me. These aren't for me. I'm delivering them on behalf of a certain young admirer of yours. Is that so? Well, I must say they're very beautiful. Very beautiful indeed. Ah, right, this is a sign of them. Where might I find this young man? Rap tells a woman where the love of the guard is, and she hurries off. Y -y Your Majesty! Thanks so much. The light of my love is dawned in my eye, and it's all thanks to you. To think you take the time to help a lowly soldier like yours truly. Words cannot express how grateful I am, but maybe this can. A pretty Betsy. You're the real man of the people, your majesty. I'll never forget what you've done for me as long as I live. I'm sure it won't come up later. What's a pretty Betsy do? Increases charm just a little, huh? Wait. Huh, interesting. So my choices will affect what I get, I guess.
Also, I can run really, really fast. It doesn't feel like the hero runs this fast, but maybe I'm just misremembering. I guess I'll take the berryless berries from these very big plants. Struggle to believe berries can taste much like pepper, but cooking isn't for the faint of heart. Sometimes you need to just give things a go. I know I wouldn't let us down, or I know you wouldn't let us down, Your Majesty. Here's a little token of appreciation. A seed of strength. Hooray, we did it. Doesn't look like anyone else at the castle need a help. In other words, I can go walk over here and talk to me son-in-law. Alley you. Ah, Lord Robert, your timing is almost uncanny. I just this second managed to come up with a perfect name for the new baby at last. Without you, I wouldn't have had time to properly manual it over. You've no idea how much of a help you've been. Since we both finished with our business for the day, why don't we head on back to the throne room and wait for the good news? Sure. Your Majesty! But also, Lord do you Robert, even know if it's a boy or a girl? Arrival is here. <gasps> like, do they Already? have that technology? Ah. Yeah. Let's do it. Congratulations, Your Majesty. Which one of us are you talking to? It's a beautiful, to? bouncing baby boy. Why is he bouncing? Stop dribbling Boy. my child! Or grandchild, I guess, in this situation. Oh, there he is. Look, Erwin. Look, Erwin. I'm perfectly dressed and didn't even remove my necklace Please for this. Find me, Jappy. And what a set of lungs! We'd better hurry up and give him a name before he screams the place. Did he always have an accent? I don't feel like he had an accent last time. <laughs> At least not that thick of one. We were wondering what you thought about uh, Erdrick. Erdrick. Oh, it's beautiful. Wow, it's it beautiful. And blame. Clever and brave and... Yes. yes. <laughs> and yes. That's... But I'd rather set my heart on something else. That's definitely code for... Wow. What do you think of this for me? That's, um... That certainly is a name. Oh. Uh, well, it, it, it's nice, but... Is this where I get insulted? Exactly be my first choice? But if that's the name you've chosen, my love, then that's the name he shall have. It's where I'm, I'm being insulted. Mighty Yggdrasil has blessed us with this beautiful boy. He looks so happy. And from this day look forth, at those tiny feet. He shall be known as... <laughs> well... Ugh, oh, sorry. <laughs> The Peppa oh, got me nose and centered the readings of that name. <clears throat> Sorry about that, love. Never mind that. Why don't you give your grandson a cuddle? Ooh, ooh, yeah, yeah, that's me. It's really. Thanks to all of you for watching my stream. I live streamed my own birth, apparently. Yes, I am. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and then it's gone. What happened? <gasps> what happened to the baby? What, what the? Having fun? Kind of. <sighs> How are you doing this? These places, these memories, they feel so real. <laughs> that was not an answer. Hmm? Why is it so quiet? Rude, I'm gonna go over here. Something tells me I should follow the lassie with the bunnies. Well, fine, I was gonna go the opposite way and 
sneak up, but fine. Aha! Oh, dang it. Um, okay, I guess so. Wait, now she's over there. Back! That was a clever use of, you know, a corner, but... It's a cake! That's a really What's big... All this then? Happy birthday, maybe? Well, that doesn't look like <laughs> a good cake. Oh no! Happy birthday, Grandpa! It's little me. Get away! It's... It's you! Don't tell me to get away, <laughs> Grandpa! <laughs> well done, big man! <laughs> Oh, oh, look, it's the Sultan. <laughs> Surprise! You didn't suspect a thing, did you? We all worked extra hard to keep us. It's secret. weird that the kid version can talk, but the regular version can't. Happy birthday, Lord Robert. We've had Gondolia's finest patissiers working day and night on your cake here. I trust it will be to your taste. Many happy returns, Father. May you live a long and joyful life, watching your grandson grow into a fine young man. What was that? Why did, why did it glitch out like that? I don't oh, know if it glitched you, out for you guys, but it did you, for me. You shouldn't have. Congratulations, your highness. The people of Dundrasil are eternally grateful for all you've done to make this such a happy and peaceful place to live. Hear, hear! And we'll do everything we can to keep it happy and what is in the peaceful background under King Arwen What is Arwen that like little weird oh, cat shrimp or something? that's my boys. Aye, and a great big happy birthday to you from all the lads and lassies in the tavern, eh? Hey, I'm sure we'll all be super relevant <laughs> later with our, you know, our name tags and everything. Collection of, uh, <clears throat> gentlemen's periodicals, will you, big man? My people. Oh, how I love them. Love Not them? Crying, are you, Grandpa? This what do you mean, hard. Grandpa? We're right here. We've no, always I, been here. Everything's perfect. Just perfect. This is where I eat the cake. Can I knock this guy off the ball? Dang it. Lord Robert, I'm your humble servant. If you had not told the Sultan about the drought was a test, then he must rise the challenge you might not have pulled through. Galapagos is a place where chivalry and honor are everything. We never forget those who we are indebted to, that I promise you. May rest assured your name will live on in legend, even though I'm still alive. The heartiest birth- happy birthdays to your old friend. Thundrasil has always been a friend to Galopolis. We owe you a great debt for all the help you offered us when we were beset by drought. On your wise advice, all the Galopolis pulled together and weathered the, the crisis as one. I believe this experience made us stronger as a people. We've brought a future, we have a bright future ahead of us, and maybe that future will include Brilli's ability to read. It's to meet you, Lord Robert. Agalabas knows the man who inspired the Sultan to guide us successfully through their time of drought. He also taught me how to do one-finger push-ups, which is uh, very impressive. It really helps with planting seeds. I just put one finger down in the dirt, and then I hop along in a straight line. It works out. Be no exaggeration to say the reason we are all alive and well. It can be here today. No words to express their gratitude, only circus stunts. Such as one-fingered push-ups, I guess. You'll never guess who lie, whose idea it was to make a cake this big. None other than your pride and joy, we Brilly. Even though, you know, Brilly hates cake. But, you know, never you mind that. Happy birthday, your highness. What a marvelous occasion. I hope you don't mind if I invited some young ladies I befriended back in Octania. Ah, so many happy memories of my time in the ring. When I went, first went, I presumed I'd be fighting mano a mano, so to speak. Instead, it was a battle royale, a veritable free-for-all. 
I used my diplomatic skills and discretion to remain above the fray while my rivals slugged it out, and in mad melee, they were good enough to knock each other unconscious, leaving me to claim victory. He won with his brain. Who's this Gandalf guy? Many happy days, Lord Robert. Happy birthday, old friend. There should be many more yet, of that I have no doubt. <laughs> Ah, thank you once again for your invaluable advice regarding that terrible blue orb business. When we told the suspects the orb was a fake, the culprit was so shocked that he collapsed in a tearful heap on the floor. It really was the most marvelous ruse. Why is this guy dead? Are you okay? Oh, okay. A scar, huh? I only had a wee drop to wet me whistle, and I'm staggering around the place. I was made of sterner stuff than this. <laughs> Uh, I shouldn't have had the Kool-Aid. How was I supposed to know that Power Punch really packed a punch? Alright, where's the happy couple? I helped them, right? Or is this just the... This is just for the three things I decided, I guess? Where's the guard and his... I don't see him. Why don't I see him? Oh, well, let's talk to me. Which is a weird thing to consider. Come on, Grandpa, follow me. That's what it really sounds like. I don't trust me. Everyone loves you, Grandpa. All the scholars were telling me how clever you are. You're amazing. Oh, get away with you. I don't want to get a big head. Too late. But it wouldn't be bad the idea for you to mix with the bookish types, really. The king has to know a lot of things. I'll show you, Grandpa. I'm gonna study hard until I know as much as you do. Now get over here, come on. Oh, is he gonna take me to like all of them? They should realize, are they real circus performers, Grandpa? I've only really ever read about them. Is that right, laddie? We we'll need to take your trip to Galopolis and visit the Big Top. It's quite something. Maybe you'll meet a new friend there. Can we really go? Promise? Aye, that's a promise. Now let's go this way. This was not me as a child. I was not active enough to do this. Look, Grandpa, it's Chief Minister. Why do they have all those pretty girls around him? Aye, it's more than one that meets the eye, laddie. Still can't believe you managed to win the thing. Just goes to show everyone has hidden strengths, including you. You just have to find them. Got it, Grandpa. I'll never stop until I find what I'm capable of. Such as losing my voice. It's been fun walking around with you, Grandpa. I'm getting hungry. And I can't talk much more. I know how about a slice of cake. It was my idea to have the biggest cake ever. Even though I don't like cake. <laughs> how are you enjoying the party? It's so much fun. So Dundrasil has not been destroyed. And Eleanor and Erwin are living here happily with her boy. Whatever this place is, whatever's going on, I know it can't be real. That's depressing. No, it cannot be real. My golly, I could stay here forever. Well, why don't you? <laughs> oh. Ow. I fell. That's more like me. Oh, my poor wee soldier's fallen down. <laughs> Ow. Ow, my three-layered oh, hair top is there, there, ruined. Man. There's no need for that. Is he gonna look up and be a demon? Uh-oh. Slightly different. That's it. It's all coming back to me. We were defeated. And then the darkness came. When I woke, I was all alone. I prayed that my pals were still alive, but I knew I couldn't rely on that. So I set out 
to find a way of taking on the Lord of Shadows by myself. And then... Yes. So, I sought out Grandmaster Pang. I was trying to convince her to train me, but... But that means... All this must be... What's the matter, Grandpa? What's the matter, Grandpa? You're supposed I'm to so be, like, bad. you know, helping me up, but you just kind of let me sit I there and cry. Things I need to be doing. Well, what? You mean, you're leaving? Aye, but don't worry. We'll meet again. When you're, you know, Aye, some house that's right. taller than me. I hate to go. Really, I do. Maybe one day you'll understand. You be a good boy now. Something tells me you'll do just fine. You'll do just fine. Up until, you know, you get your butt kicked by a cutscene. Oh, I can leave now. Hello? What's the matter, your majesty? You aren't seriously about to leave the party in full swing, are you? Yes. Boundless happiness awaits you here, you know. Joy, laughter, and it's all manner of, and all manner of wonderful surprises. Are you really willing to leave it behind? Yeah? I can give you what you want, your majesty. But it won't be can real, so what's the point? Because of more important things to be doing. There's a world needs saving while I'm dallying here in Dreamland. Lovely as it is. I should be toughening up, not going soft in the head. I need to be with Grandmaster Pang learning how to defeat the Lord of Shadows. And I need you to take me to her right now. Hmm. After all the effort I went to, honestly, do you think I like dressing up as a bunny-eared bimbo? Language. <gasps> it's someone I don't know. <laughs> Grandmaster Pang, you can't be serious. It was you all along. Of course it was, dummy. Oh. Ah. But also now what? Oh. Wait. This is... <gasps> that doesn't look ominous at all, and definitely is not evil. Oh, there's a green dot here as if I can exit, but I guess not. Now the real game begins. When bright brand bores through heaven's doors, the sun shall rise o'er darkened skies and banish night with holy light. Okay. Welcome to the place where lost souls gather. The place between worlds. This is the void. And you are courageous indeed to have ventured here. Not all of my students would dare. It's an honor to see you again, Grandmaster. A shame we didn't get to enjoy any fake cake, but Happiness we all knew it was a lie inertia. anyways. You did well to refuse its temptations. So it was all a test then? No. Indeed, also, he's still wearing the outfit. But you were not deceived by my illusions. You were not seduced by the fantasy of an easy escape. It's a start. Well, he yes! almost was. Passed with flying colors! So you'll train me, eh? I know, I didn't say that. Hmm. 
You still have not learned to listen, I see. I said it was a start. There is work to do yet if you are to prove yourself truly worthy. You what? You must show me that you have not been neglectful of uh -oh. your training. That you have been diligent uh -oh. in your daily practice. And there's only one way to truly make sure of that. Um, I play Super Mario. Oh, no. Wait, why is she a pan stick? Not the naughty stick! And you've taken to wielding two of them, I see! Oh, Crivens! I'll no get out of this without a bruise or two! But, if that's what it takes, then oh. so be it. Do your worst! Do your worst? I'm yeah. sure this won't end terribly for me. God damn Let us it. Begin. Grandmaster Peng draws near. Stay focused. Also, I have lost. You must use every tool to dispose Or else. Hello, Gum. How's it going? Hope you're having a good day. Don't worry. You'll be right as rain. Now, now, pain, suffering. Um. I don't think I have any. I don't really have any buff abilities, so... Ow. Ow! Okay. Uh... Wait, I don't have any... I guess I do have this. I guess that'll work. I was gonna say, I don't have any healing items on this guy. That wasn't really a smile. So now she's weak to physical attacks. Yes! Or at least more susceptible to them. Hey, wait a second. That's my ability. I just used it. Stop it. Boom. Ow. Now I'm pepped up, but at what cost? Hang on, let me heal. Don't attack me. You must use every tool at your disposal. Alright, now she's a swordsman. I'm guessing this might be something I get. Wait, what? Of course I didn't hit her. She was retreating. Now. Safety first. How's it going, everybody? Sorry if it's not super interesting. But this is what I said we'd do today. That's what we're doing. Oh, wait. Yeah, I didn't really mean to do that. The darkness consume you. Stop it, it doesn't do anything. 
<laughs> she charms me and then punches me in the face. Am I in an anime? This is pretty anime, but I don't want to be part of like a harem or anything. Do you believe you have what it takes to get Those always end poorly. No, well, not always. I think there are a few of them that actually make it work out, but more times than not, it doesn't work. Oh, jeez. I've held back until now, but no longer. Um. Come on! A horse? That's illegal. Can't about how. Almighty ability. Oh. It's like I have to ignore him just to kill her. Um. Just in case it's uh, capable of bouncing. Now. Oh, that wasn't actually as, like, painful as I thought it would be. Now... I thought it would be, like, 200 damage or something with all the... All the pep time it had. Get me wrong, but not done at the yet. very least, it's beatable until I run out of mana, and then, aha, fool! Even though getting hit by fire when you're on fire probably doesn't really mean much to you. Ow! Rude. Come on, fall down already. She's been in critical health for four turns. Got it? No. Oh, wait. Yes, she's down. Do I win? Okay. Just ignore the horse that's there. Hooray! I got a new spell. To be blunt, it's pretty spectacular. Perhaps. <sighs> You have not been as lazy as I feared. I beat you, you in battle. Here. That makes me superior. Well, Even though wait. she probably was like, I wasn't I... trying, man. Still, your resolve is clear. You have shown me how much you are willing to endure in order to take on the Lord of Shadows. Why don't you do it? I guess because Lord of Perhaps Shadows probably owns where she lives. I can't kill him, he's my landlord. You're I owe him, like, so Give much rent. Time. It is. You will be trained in the most closely guarded secrets of our art. But the were physical you body. to the full course of study, the physical body you have left behind would wither and die. As such, your training must be accelerated, and the work of years that doesn't condensed sound good. into mere days. Is he kind of turn into a ghost? Easy. Are you ready to open the gates of hell and see Killing him would beyond? solve that problem. You had better be. But you bet I am. I'm he probably has some rulings in his me. contracts. If he owns your land, you can't me. go against him. In battle, at least. I am very happy to hear it. And by the way, the whole bunny girl than a mate convincing Grandmaster, I have to say. 
Don't bring it up, she'll kill you. Swan then straight off the cover of a vintage issue of the Ogre's Digest. Of course, that's what I looked like before. Hmm. There is more to me than meets yep. the eye, you know. I too was young once upon a time. How old is she now? <gasps> Hang on a minute. What do you mean by that exactly? Do not question your master. You have training to be doing. Don't question me. We will make it easy to begin with. I've got the stick. Ten thousand press ups. On your knuckles. On your knuckles. Ow. T -t Ten thousand. Oh yeah. Well, I guess he has a pretty good ending overall. Still, that took an hour. For activities in Adventure Log? Yes. Where is our hero? Is he dead? And I wonder if the sisters are going to be together or if they're going to be separated. Because, uh... At least one of them isn't too good at handling combat. His friends still live. His friends still fight. Their cause is not forlorn. The night is <sighs> dark and dreadful. I always forget the speaking yet see the dawn. Though Erdria is racked with darkness, suffering, and pain, the Luminary's light can shine upon this land again. Uh-huh. Whatever you say, Fishy Queen. Don't even know who you're talking to. Uh-oh. Hello, fishy friends. Am I... going to be eaten by a shark? No, shark seems pretty tame. Am I a mermaid? Nope, I'm a fish. Why am I a fish? Who am I a fish? No noise, only fish. Wait, that was me! I've lost the power of the Luminary! What friends are for? Or to the Luminary's companions for standing strong in Andrea's hour of need. Oh, I guess that's the end of our extra bits. But also, I'm a fish! Why am I a fish? Is it for any fun? Am I under the sea? So do I have, can I use things? I've lost the power of the Luminary. It's gone. But hey, I've got 53 points I can spend now. Hmm. I'm not sure I should. Hello, Taco Jet. Welcome to Fish. Clap, clap. He was, in fact, sleeping with the fishes, for better or worse. Did I bother learning any of these? Because... I don't know if I'm going to get this back and... Uh, I guess it doesn't really matter. No problem, and thanks for lurking. I hope that I'm good background noise for you, at least. It's always nice to know that, at the very minimum. I guess I'll get Giga Smash, because it's pretty expensive. I learned a new ability. Fish a Smash! Alright, well. I'm a fish. Why am I a fish? I have a lot of questions.
Uh, well, question number one, how do I go down? Oh, with B. Okay, it's on the screen. I'm smart. Why is ZR float upward, but ZL... Is it? Okay, it is. It just doesn't work right away. There's a delay. <laughs> what? Oh, you're awake! Oh, you're, you're awake. awake! You're awake! You're alive. Yeah, I guess those are things to be surprised about. You're a fish! Where's my hair? Your breath was getting shorter, you couldn't breathe the water, but look at you now! It's an unequivocal miracle! Queen Marina! Unequivocal <laughs> miracle? That's a good line, but I don't quite know what it means. Hello, fish maid 18. Wonderful to see you've woken finally. You've been sleeping ever since you fell into the sea. We're safe down here, but awful things are happening ashore. Speak to Queen Marina if you want to find out more. Her Majesty awaits you in her palace to the north. If you're feeling fit enough, I'd urge you to go forth. Will you please stop with the rhymes? Oh no, am I going to be first? Um, am I going to be forced to rhyme all the time? Uh, is this a curse? Ooh. Or is it just a talent I have to nurse? Skill. Put it in my bag? You know I will. But why can't they stop? Is it a habit that's that hard to drop? You look important. Ah, uh, dang it. I can't actually... I just automatically descend. Get your mind back up. I was... Uh, Finn's off. I was trying to talk to him, but... I guess I'm not allowed to. And I know I'm not always speaking in rhyme, but I can't do it all the time. I'm not that talented at performing a crime, and I'm blind. But, it's better than dying. I appreciate that it at least kind of feels like I don't really know how to swim. Because, you know, fair enough, why would I know how to swim? Welcome, Luminaries. Good to see you well. Queen Marina waits you inside the royal shell. You'll find the entrance to the Black Dinner. You get to read that. I carry you up there myself, just like I did last time, but letting fine fins go to waste would really be a crime. Hey, that's my rhyme. That's not the only reason I refuse. You see, the fact is, you may soon need to swim away. You ought to get some practice. That didn't rhyme. Didn't rhyme at all. Where's the royal shell? Up there? Eh. I'm trying. I'm trying my best. Man, how do fish do it? How do they just float? I did it. Okay. Hello, Queenie. How's it going? I'm here. I'm a fish. You say our guest has finally recovered from his wounds? Then let us expedite the plan. It must be done, expedite. and soon. Your Majesty! Your Majesty, what's happening? Don't fear for me. I'm not done yet. Until my work is finished, I'll find the strength to carry on. I shall not be diminished. That first part didn't rhyme either, so I guess they don't have to do it all the time. That's good. Hello. 
It's me. Salva Luminary. Ah, there you are, old friend. <laughs> or should I say, new fish. You make a finer flounder than I'd ever dared to wish. Is that a compliment? I'm not sure. When first my subjects brought you here, it gave me such a shock to see you bruised. Where's and my actual like body? A ship wrecked on the rocks. Have questions. The Lord of Shadows thinks you dead. The sea swarms with his spies. I changed you to this fishy form to hide you from his eyes. But why didn't you change Many me? Many troubled monks have come and gone since your arrival. As you slept, my healers strove to safeguard your I don't know, survival. into like a merman or something. You cannot know how glad or I am to see you fully healed. But soon the spell will fade, and you must once more take the field. I have a plan to see you safe. That's all I've ever wished. If all goes well, you'll soon know what it feels like to be fished. To be fished? But I don't want to know that. I'll die. Forgive my haste. These strange events must take you by surprise. You have so many questions. I can see it in your eyes. Good thing my eyes can talk. Bravely by the world Otherwise no one would have any idea heart. what I was thinking. I saw the Lord of Shadows tear your fellowship apart. Yep. Two of them are still missing. I think. I don't think we saw anything about them. I saw you strive to fell the fiend, and how your plans were vexed. When you are ready, follow me to see what happened next. I don't have much of a choice. I don't know. Can we maybe not go in a straight line? I can't really handle upward momentum yet. Eh. Eh. Okay. Nope. Too far. Alright. Now I just wiggle my little fishy fins... somewhere. I'm not exactly sure where she wants me to go. Welcome to the Mermaid Legs. Can I interest you in our signature cocktail, the Salty Martini? It consists of a pearl seeped in mermaid tears, topped off with the foaming seawater, and a single sip will send you sailing to paradise. Oh, if you're feeling generous, you can tip your glass into the water around you so that everyone can enjoy it together. Ha <laughs> ha! That's the way we cool kids do it. <laughs> I'm 37 years old and fish years. That's why I'm illegally allowed to run this bar, I guess. This guy looks important, and he's hiding a treasure box from me. I'm just gonna go ahead and sneakily grab that. A way that only fish could. Their lack of thumbs. I wish I could fish every day until I die. You're underwater. Imagine this is we nurse you back to health. To tell the truth, I thought it was a hopeless task myself. But still, she made us sing our songs of healing night and day. If not for her, your waning life might as well ebbed away. Well, thanks for the reluctant help. Might not look like it, but I'm not slacking off. I'm replenishing my energy so all my facilities will be fresh when Judgment Day rolls around. Is that what you call it? I'm not sleeping, I'm just refilling my uh, energy vials. Also, now I'm over here again. No, go down. Thank you. Hello, I'm a shark. Oi, oi, what we got here then? Every day a fish gets swimming in my shop? That's a bit more than you, your lily living mates, ain't you? Too right you have. Lovely jubbly. Don't reckon you and me are getting along just fine. Only problem is, I'm out of stock. Delivery fish ain't been coming these last few weeks. I've already sold the stuff I had. Nothing I can do, isn't it? 
No, I wanted some shark swords. Or some shark armor. Some charmer. Where's the queen? Dang it. I guess maybe she went that way. Go, fishy friend. Save the world. Queen in here. Dry, dry, die. Welcome to the seabed realm of Nautica, my friend. How wonderful to see you well. I'm glad you're on the mend. No doubt you're keen to head ashore, but I'm afraid to say, now that you're in fishy form, I think you have to stay. Dang it. Why? Fish can go ashore. I just have to figure out how feet work again. That command can't be used right now. Because I don't have any friends. I press the minus button to talk to my group, but I don't have a group. Well, at the very least, we completed our one quest of figuring out where all our friends went. Now we just have to rescue them all. I go into that room and I'm done. A millennium of more has passed since the last queen allowed her most private community to be seen. The tidings Queen Marina means to impart are most, most important. The odds are great and getting greater. Don't make her wait, it may be too later. It's not a word, but... Well, it is a word, but it's not... It shouldn't be used there. There's lots of material pickups, but I don't have any idea where they'd be. I've only found two boxes so far that I could see. But if you feel like it, you can guide me. At least to anything significant. Just a bunch of rocks. Like, I, we can get this later, probably. But... I don't see anything major. Hello? Huh? You never knew fish could speak? Of course we can. You're talking to me, aren't you? If you thought the only human could talk, you must be up the pole. Yeah, I thought Bernard had thick heads, but you're something else. That's rude. Also, why would I think that they couldn't talk? We talked so many fish. Crimson Coral. Well, I haven't seen anything, but... Oh, wait, there's a thing right there. A red eye. Hmm. Thought I saw something flash, but I guess not. Oh, let's go talk to the queen. I don't care enough to go wandering around for hours. I guess she's in here. Goodbye, shark. Here's the queen's private chamber. Is this where my almost dead body is? Or have I just been magically turned into a fish? So I'm still in my body. An eons passed since last I brought a human to this cave. 
It is the private parlor of the queen beneath the waves. Behold the pearl of wisdom, jewel of we the ocean's daughters. It lets its bearer view the world through any drop of water. That's pretty useful. Could you look inside someone's body? I've summoned up a thunderstorm to saturate the ground. Now, let's ascend into oh, the rain and take a look That's around. a clever use, I guess. If it starts raining, you can see everything. Whenever you are ready, touch your fin against the pearl. I don't know and if I want to. I feel like it's going to be very dark and dreary. World. The thought alone makes me pretty weary. Yeah, just look through the moisture on their eyes. That also works. Hmm, do you think that's what makes the Dark Lord evil? He always has dry eye? So it just irritates him? That'd be the best uh, backstory for him. Like, I just want to f make my eyes, you know, not dry all the time. I took it out on everyone around me because they had normalize I didn't I didn't appreciate that felt like I was left out that's the pearl all right what could possibly be going on oh we're in bubbles why are we in bubbles everything's on fire Oh, Yggdrasil's looked a little better. The land of Adria is now a ravaged shell. When Mordigan destroyed its heart, the Holy World Tree fell. Upon its fall, the world was with a searing storm despoiled. Trees and grasses burned to ashes. Lakes and rivers boiled. I don't... Burning boulders fell I don't know to if that earth one counts, and but pulverized sure, the land. Mountains cracked, and realms were racked at his unholy hand. In one fell swoop, the Lord of Shadows ended countless lives. The lucky few who rode the storm out struggled to survive. Or were Their captured by demons, or trained with a monk. Misery and tears. I see them or form the happy tremble, band of circus goers. Calm their fears. How would you feel if you lost your friends through some traumatic experience? You're like, but I know they're still alive. And then they approach you saying, hey, I'm a fish. How's it going? Basically, what would happen if I disappeared and came back on camera as a fish? Would you be impressed? Worried? Saba Ping? Everyone's dead. No, yellow hat guy. Someone over there. Small child. Please help. Everyone's dead. Somebody, please. Is someone there? Hello, I'm a fish, blub blub. I can help you, small child. Please, am I not, help me. Am I not even going to reach like a fin for? Okay, good. No. Is it? Is it? We don't want to get to see their face. Okay, fine. Oh no, it's, it's all these stock Our villagers. Our families They're not allowed to move in one too. group. All we have left is our Also, lives. that's pretty weird to say. We can't just sit down and Our die. friends and families. We have to yeah, keep our families walking. and friends too. Like are are you we not surrounded by friends? Following the hero. They say he's built a fortress south of Heliodor. If we can make our way there, we'll be safe. <gasps> Mama, no. Don't give up, okay? 
This hero guy won't let us down. Once we get to the last bastion, everything will be fine. You'll see. A few more short steps lead from darkness into dawn. Safe haven awaits. That's not really how I expected him to talk, but... Uh huh. I'm okay. Just feels like some kind of fish is staring directly into my heart. Amid the black depths of despair, a spark of light still shines. Is he the hero? Even a though man who gives the people hope in these the benighted zero? times. Yet that light too shall soon succumb to evil's ceaseless claim. Only you can take that spark and kindle it to flame. When I'm just a fish, what am I gonna do? I guess I could Yggdrasil slap him with my tail earth. fin. Her light has disappeared. In her place, the Lord of Shadows. Does that mean I have to go all the way back over there? He took the sacred world ah, what a tree's jerk. power and now makes it his own. Foul Time to start at the very beginning the of the game. Play through throne. it again. His forces seek to steal the souls of every last survivor. Take a fish. His make a wish. His servants sweep the skies. The seas swarm with his divers. Take a look. It's in a book. All this finny fun. Oh no. That wall is getting punched a ton. I don't know if there's any big waterfalls for me to ride up to become a Garadus. The fiend that seeks to devastate my nation. Another one of Mordigan's detestable creations. I've cast a spell to hold him back, but need it to be stronger. The barrier's at breaking point and cannot last much longer. I'd hoped that I could save my realm. It was a foolish notion. Compared to his, my strength is but a raindrop in the ocean. Now, I'd say you're like a Ere bucket. Long, the barrier at will least. fall, and Nautica will too. Marauding beasts may the take raindrop, my life. It would be more like my abilities, you. where I got backhanded into a fish form, and all my friends disappeared. That's a raindrop. Like, you're at least a bucket. Be happy with that. Our We're time back. grows short. I fear my kingdom's race is nearly run. My place is with my subjects now. We face our fate as one. Uh-huh. And where do I tie into this? Oh, still a fish. Okay. Well, onward and finward. And squidward. I'm sure we're gonna find a giant octopus monster, right? Alright, what do you want from me now? Queen Marina's converted converted her subjects to the central square. She's about to make a speech. I beseech you to attend too and listen to her lecture. Everyone's assembled and ready, ready to hear her words. There's no time to worry. You have to hurry. How curious you are, my friend. I showed you fearful sights, and yet those wide and watery eyes still gleam with limpid light. And... It seems that grief and tragedy have followed you since birth. Cruel fate's dark plan has stalked you to the corners of the earth. And yet you've weathered every blow, That's Earth with a prevailed key, against all way. strife. You've brushed Gosh. with death a thousand times, yet still you have your life. It is the will of Yggdrasil that you are still alive. It is your fate to it's... save this world 
For this, you the must The tree is survive. gone. How could it be its will? I just want a little bit of credit. I worked hard to stay alive. I definitely Bright haven't died Let the seven light times. Shine on the world again. Find the fading sparks of hope and kindle them to flame. You'll find the sparks I speak of here and there throughout the land. They are the former members of your staunch and stalwart band. The fire within their hearts will light the path that you must tread. Find your friends and bring an end to this dark age of dread. All right. Which friends do I have to find first, though? So, you know, Eric's out there without a brain. While the luminary lives, there's hope for people still. But I lost the you power of the fail. luminary. You must prevail. It is the world tree's will. <gasps> Beware! The barrier shakes and breaks. Shake and bake. That's an angry looking fish. Can I go beat him up? Because I shouldn't just leave these people here to die, right? Fond farewell, short shrift. I had so much to tell you, but it seems I must be swift. Oh, that's not good. Wait, no, you're gonna die. Do not lose heart. Do not look back until your time is through. Remember, you're the luminary. We believe well, in thanks, you. Thanks, but maybe believe in me enough to let me help a little before the giant fish monster punches you. Uh, now I feel bad. Gonna leave them all the time. Oh. You can talk. Give your lives to the Lord of Shadows. It must be painful to have two rows of teeth like that. <laughs> he just ignores the tiny fish flying by him. Yep. Why would I care about the small fish? I got bigger fish to fry in the ocean. Well, we did it. We are no longer a fish. We are still a fish. Why am I still a fish? Shouldn't I not be a fish now? It's so quiet. Nothing here. There's nothing here under the sea. Down where it's wetter, that's where everyone's deader. Under the sea. The... The hook? Ominous. Let me double check to make sure nothing's around here, but also, hello! You get to hear me without any background noise. For once. Because there's nothing here. Was there ever anything here? The answer may surprise you. Wait, where'd it go? Oh no, it moves! What? I guess because it's like whoever's doing this is getting upset. Big juicy prawn dangling in the water. Take a bite. Absolutely. Doesn't seem like a trap that I should already know how it works. Also, I thought that the Lord of Shadows had fish everywhere. Such as right below us, but I thought it was... Keeping people from going out and getting fish. Himself a biggin. Could it be the legendary man eating mackerel? No. Let's reel him in and find out. Why would the man eating mackerel just be here? Also, hello. Yes, I caught something. I actually caught something. Blue John's gonna eat tonight. Thanks, Blue John. You caught. Maybe there is some good in this forsaken world after You caught the Luminary! Do you want to give the nickname to the recently caught Luminary? Hello, how's it going? Wearing my armor. You're pretty strong, Blue John. To have brought me out in my armor. 
Who, who, who the heck are you? I, and what were you doing on the end of my hook? I, and how were you doing on the end of my I hook? I don't care how hungry you are. You don't go pinching the bait off another man's line. <laughs> hey, now. Don't cry. Don't cry, sonny. <laughs> Do I get to talk? Do I say words? Look, oh, I no. don't know what's got you sniffling, but it must be something serious. Why could I speak as a child, but not anymore? So listen, Ow. Blue John's gonna help you out. We fisher folk have gotta look after each other, ain't we? Sure. You can stay the night in my hut. There's none too many safe places left in this rotten world. But Blue John, you need to eat. Or two. I'll eat all your food. When you're ready, Never mind that I have. You can head over to the last bastion. They'll see like you several right. pieces of meat and everything in my bag, place. but they're probably He's rotten by now. Fido hero. Right now, that's decided. Let's head for sure. I didn't Hold say on anything. Tight, lad. What was Things decided? are about to get choppy. Now. <sighs> Maybe if you weren't wearing such heavy armor, I wouldn't have such a pain. A word for accepting advice of the Queen Marina and setting out from her undersea kingdom and kindle a few more remaining members of hope back to the flame. Alright. We're finally able to be ourselves. Which means I don't know. It looks like I have all my stuff now, right? Do I have all the things I got before? Got the seed of skill. Let's see. It doesn't look like I have any of the items I got while I was playing as the other characters. But I do have all my other stuff. So that's good. They did a good job drawing all of these small item things. Like, look how, look how good that looks. All it is is a twig, and it looks like a high quality art. And this thing, it's a paranormal pebble possessed by a phantom spirit. What does that mean? I have no idea, but I have two of them. I'm glad I have two ghosts in my pocket. Breaking your pot, Blue John. Nothing you can do about it, because you're not here, you're a nerd. Not jealous that he has blue in his name. I'm out of here. Thanks for the help, Blue John, and wherever you are. Oh, he's right in front of us. Ah, hoy there, Sonny. So you finally roused yourself from your slumbers, eh? <laughs> Blue John and say good morning. Oh, that explains why it's dark. But there ain't no morning to speak of.
Hello, I have returned. So, the internet went out again for some reason. No idea why. I decided to get up and get some water while that was reconnecting itself. But you haven't missed much, I think. I'm not entirely sure when it disconnected, but if you're watching the VOD, it disconnected at some point in this cutscene. Man, as I was saying, does the uh, Lord of Shadows know how shadows work? Why did he pluck out the sun? Like, now he has no shadows to lord over. That ain't good. We better hide. And also, and you fast. know, everyone's gonna die. But I doubt he cares about that part. Ah, birds! A shadow of its former self, sure, but... Them monsters started pouring out of Heliodor Castle about the same time as the black. I don't know if that's how it's making shadows work. Rotters work. seem to think they own the place. Anyways, how's it going, everybody? They've never come so near before, though. They'll be looking for food, I'll warrant. And their Blue John was thinking he'd found himself a safe Why does Blue spot? John speak as Blue John, as if Blue John Listen, was a separate uh, person? Seems the vittles round these parts are set to get mighty scarce. I hate to send you packing, Sonny. But I reckon you'd best be on no, your Blue way. No, Blue John. We need another ally. You'll be safer over at the last bastion, anyhow. Go on and get yourself over there before the monsters spot you. That hero fella will look after you, but who's I'm the sure. Hero? He's a good in that one. A spark of hope mm. in these dark old times. But on a completely different subject, for stuff Steer that dropped today, how does everyone feel about the little Mario forms. Direct that came out? The last bastion lies just beyond. Mind how you go now, sonny. I think the biggest, the, the weirdest part... Oh, fancy clocky and luminary in a place like this. I'm Tickle, Inkle's uncle from the Over to Keaton. I've been looking here ever since the Yindersil disappeared. Not had the easiest time of it either. That goes for taking to as a whole, to be honest. But looks like I found you in the nick of time. With, we need your help, you see. Just let me know when you're ready to make the trip, and I'll whisk you over there in two ticks. I'm not sure I should, but... The weirdest parts for me are definitely the limited... offer they have for the 3D All-Stars for Mario stuff. And also the Game & Watch, like... Who's, who is the Game & Watch aimed at? Who's gonna buy that? We already have the first Mario on, like, the Switch and everything. And the first Game & Watch is not really fun. You just catch a ball. Boy, how enthralling. A Game & Watch main. You can't be a Game & Watch main on Smash unless you have every Game & Watch game. That's just the rules. Alright, let's talk to Tiki. Wait, well, actually, you... Ever since the world tree fell from the sky, things have gone from bad to worse. Monsters around here have got a lot nastier for start. Take this now. I was sitting around by my own business when this rabid, wide, wild-eyed slime jumped at me. I ran for it and ended up here. Any beasts with flaming red eyes, you best run for it too. They hit a lot harder than they used to. Now, on to business. I don't have a lot of money. On account of the fact that I never really had a lot of money. Alright, let's go to Tickington. Ah, we need to record your journey in the adventure log before we go, of course. A s stitch in time saves nine, after all. Shall I take down the details of your progress? All right, time to go to Tickington. We haven't done this in forever. I don't even remember what it's about. Yeah, I'm super excited for the 3D things to go come out. Because I wanted to play Super Mario Sunshine. Galaxies and 64 are also pretty good. Welcome to Tickington, home of the tacos. It's our duty to watch over the passage of time and ensure it flows as meant to. Are you the plot device, ghosts? Must be tired, eh? Takes a bit of time to get used to life in Tinkington. Feel free to use that bed if you need to take a lie down. 
No top, no one in the party to talk to you at the moment. I wanted to go to Andrew to help look for passwords too, but Daddy wouldn't let me. He really ticked me off, to be honest. I mean, he said there'd be plenty of time for that kind of thing when I'm older, but why do I have to wait? I wish I could go and have adventures like you. Okay. Oops. Cockles have been dispatched to every corner of Erdria to search for passwords. Should you clock one in on your travels, be sure to say hello. In order to undo the damage that's been done to the sacred tomes, you need to find the tacos who have been dispatched to Erdria and to ask them for the passwords. Once you've learned one, just travel to the place it unlocks, set time back on its correct course by solving whatever problems you encounter there, and all will be well again. I am, of course, aware the timing of all this may not be ideal. You do have a quest of your own, after all. Something tells me you might want to devote some time to that before worrying about us. You can bundle back here to Tickington when you have a moment to spare. Yeah, I probably do want to save this for when I have friends. But... It seemed like there was something new here, but no one's talking to me. Really. Hmm. Oh yeah, they also introduced the, um... Mario 35 or whatever, which is just a... I guess it's a battle royale of sorts. It seems interesting. But, much like the other ones, I would probably only play it like twice and be like, Well, that was neat. Time to go play, like, reasonable games. That don't drop 90 turtles on me. Yeah, I know, right? And Soviet Jump Game came out, uh, so long ago. <laughs> eh. I didn't- I never actually played that game. I think it's free to play, but I did not- I didn't have much interest in it. It doesn't look bad, but it's definitely not my cup of tea. Alright, so we need to head up to the last bastion, which is somewhere, maybe up here, I don't know. Nah, no, this is King's Barrow. That's not right. Right? Oh, there's no one in the party to question on if it's right or not. Might as well check it out. That looks important. We've been here before, right? This looks vaguely familiar. We cannot continue on. No, no, we can't. I will assume we don't actually need to be here. I'm pretty sure we've already been here. Hey, an item. Party hide. Oh yeah, can I zoom? Nope. I can zoom to Tickington, but I can't zoom anywhere, like, notable anymore. 
I guess because it's like considered a different world now. Everything's gone bad. Jeez. I don't trust any of these slimes. Elijah betrayed us. And so I cannot trust any of them. I'm not a bad slime, really. I'm just going to steal your memories and your personality traits. That's not what good slimes do, Elijah. Gosh. Excuse me, pardon me, coming through. Hero of the world over here. Hello, cow. Moo, let's see what kind of weather we can look forward to, Moo. Skies should start to clear here at night. Wait. Mr. Cow, that would imply that the Lord of Shadows will let it clear. Moo? The who? That's just a myth. I sure hope I'm going the right way. I have the option. I think. Do I have the option? Are the horses a lot? Oh, I do. Onward! My majestic steed. Dang it! I thought you would maybe be able to avoid them. Alright, well. It's been a while since I've actually fought the thing. Yeah. Well, as a hero, I mean. And how did I one-shot the raging bunny, but I couldn't take out the pink... <laughs> ...pelican. There we go. That's a bird. No. No. This way? Oh yeah, I have to actually stop at camps in order to use them, so... Can I zoom here now? Yes, okay. Gotta remember to actually talk to the campfires. So I can actually use them to teleport. This doesn't feel right, does it? Bird. Goodbye, bird. Odor region, parting place. Okay. Burk, burk. Woof, woof. Burk, burk. Woof, woof. Oh, I thought the door would maybe close. Because this dog was barking at me. Hello. What's up, dog? What are you... what are you doing? Are we, are we going this way? Okay. I'm faster than this dog, somehow. Door to him, the house of the remains of the last... Oh. somehow went the correct way, I guess. Or at least a correct way. Burp? Hello there. There you are. It's Gemma. Where did you run off to? Do we know who Gemma is? Burk Burk. Burk 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 Burk. Is, 
Yes, it's it really is me. Easy, isn't it? Can you say my name? You're alive, and you, you you've come back to us. Oh, I've been so 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 worried, especially after. Well, especially after we your horrible death things. performance, where you fell into the ocean. I thought you, I thought you turned into a fish. Work. Andy, you're right, of course. This is the best news I could have hoped for. And here I am, blubbering like a baby. Not a baby. Welcome home. Thanks, Gemma. I totally remember you. Thanks, Sandy. I totally remembered you. It's not quite the cobblestone we grew up in, is it? No, we've been through a lot. After you left, this terrible man named Jasper came. After I left or after I died? I'll never forget his eyes. They were so cold. He he rounded us all up in the center of the village, and then he ordered his men to kill us. There's a slight distinction us. there. But we were lucky. Not everyone is as cruel as Jasper. No, another soldier came and told him to stop. He said there was no need to take our lives. But that didn't stop them burning the village to the ground and locking us all up in the castle. Still, why would he do that? That one good man made sure we came to no harm. Work. Even save the dogs. Sorry, Sandy, you're right. He's just got home after a long journey. He doesn't want to hear me blathering on. No, I was Come saying I was hungry. Let's go and see the one person who'll be even happier to see you than me. The mirror? Or perhaps... Hello, hello. Find the main part of the last bastion is beyond you. If you need food or weapons or anything, that's the place to get them. Thanks. A shame I don't have money. Do I even have a bank? Hello. We're done for, I tell you. This way, this up here. No. Okay, I have to be behind her or she stops. Hello, hello. Come on, girls, put your backs into it. The boys are out there doing the fighting, so it's up to us to keep the home fires burning. It's me mum. Uh, sorry to interrupt, Amber, but uh, I've got big news. Hello, Gemma, love. What's got you so excited, hmm? Well... <gasps> well, you're not going to believe this, but... Yeah, she, she's staring right at me. I think she doesn't need the introduction. You. Hey, ma'am. How's it going? Oh, my little soldier. People love that line in this game, don't they? I, I just can't believe it's you. After all the awful things that. Now happened, you know what they say, ma'am. Sure you... Never believe the protagonist sure is dead you... unless you see a dead body, and even oh. then, be be wary. When the disaster I turned into struck, a fish, by the way. So that was many fun. people lost their lives. The sun vanished, and those terrible Ow. monsters appeared all over the place. They've always the been all over the place, but now I guess they're more vicious. So drained and desperate that we almost lost the will to live. And then the hero appeared just when we needed him. He did uh, all he could to help who people, was the hero? No I have to find that or out. Where they were from. Cause, you know, that's me. He fought I'm off the, hero. the monsters and brought everyone here to safety. I Without hope the hero him, isn't going to end up being what evil. Would have become of us. And now, thanks to him, the place you once knew as Cobblestone has become the last bastion. Humanity's safe haven in a world beset by darkness. Would you believe we've even got the King of Heliodor camped out here? Uh-huh. 
Oh no, that's made me sad. Look, I know he was the one who ordered the village to be burned, but I'm sure he had his reasons. Things aren't always Did as he? they seem, love. He oh yeah, the king the was the one that was possessed. To see, but you should go and talk things through with the king. Your grandfather would have wanted you to at least try. Just pop your head uh, which the grandfather? Because I think my other I mean, grandfather it's probably the wouldn't in the care. Of the camp with the two flags. And be polite. So, you know, the king did have his reasons. He was being possessed by an evil spirit that... I don't know if we got an explanation on how he was possessed, but I'm sure we will. Hello, small child. I saw you when you were when I was a fish. I was gonna say when you were a fish, but that's wrong. Oh, don't don't give up, small child. It'll be okay. You too can be a fish. Out of my way, sir. There's a box behind me. Sir, there's a box behind you. Sir! Sir, I need that box. I can't just leave it unopened. No! Oh yeah, well. Who was I supposed to talk to? There's nothing fishy going on here. Dang it! <laughs> it's been so long I forgot. I don't know what happened between you and the king, but it's time to let bygones be bygones. It's not like he stabbed you in the back or something. Well, you better start playing again. Otherwise, I'll go right past you. You didn't believe me, did you? No, it stopped happening, so I forgot about it. I also don't actually know how to turn it off. So this place is pretty big for a small village. Oh, there's the king. Greetings, Mr. Luminary, sir. How do I know you, the Luminary? You got a fancy hat. Majesty's waiting for you inside. Woke up not too long ago. Seems rather keen to talk to you. All right, here you go. Still wearing that hat, I see. Doctor so, Giro. You are alive king Giro. and well, I see. I'm alive, I don't know about well. You have nothing to fear. I have regained my senses at last. The living nightmare that began for me on the day of your birth has ended. Though in truth... That was a long time ago. I remember little of what I did. I have inflicted so much pain on so many. On you. I do not ask for forgiveness. I do not deserve it. All I ask is that I be allowed to atone. To pay for my crimes by protecting those who remain. Tell me. Well, he seems sincere Do you recall enough. what happened on that fateful day? But I can't the help but be afraid that he's going to zap us with darkness branches. Again. Yeah, that was like two weeks I ago. I see. I recall... Nothing. All I know is that whomever he survived the fall. or whatever had me in its grasp for all those years left me there. And there. when at long last I returned to my senses. Hello, Doof. Hope you're having a good I day. I was here. There is something else I must ask you. Tell me. Do you know if my daughter is alive? Um I see. Who was his daughter again? Your Majesty. Your Majesty, we just found your daughter. Has returned. Uh oh. He brings more survivors seeking sanctuary. Who's the hero? Come. You must meet he to whom we owe our survival. Though you may not wish to at first. Also, why do people have to keep calling people hero or whatever? Just 
They have names. I mean, I understand me. Because I have a custom name, but... Like, this guy coming up is probably... His name probably is not the hero. Be over here. There's a thing over here. A fatalist stick. Okay. Doing okay, though I will probably be taking a break here in a minute. Hopefully the video didn't get separated while we briefly lost internet stuff. That didn't sound good. Where's the hero? Everyone's gone to welcome him back, except, you know, more than half of the people here are completely stationary. at the north gate. I didn't know there was a north gate. So he's over here. I wonder who it could be. Hey, also, Duke, if you just woke up, you might not have seen the, uh... Oh, you're alive. That's deep. You might not have seen the new Nintendo Direct thing about Mario. Luminary lives. Ah, oh, you're alive. All right, bye. Welcome back, Hendrik. Well, it's like why didn't they call him Hendrik and serve the hero? The forces of darkness amass at the gates of Heliodor. They will strike, and soon, sire, the people must be removed to safety. Men, all the signs are that our enemy will strike tonight. To arms, they shall not find us unprepared. Yeah, about that. As you see, he is as eloquent as ever. That's a way but to put it. Must forgive him. I will not forgive him. I don't he even remember why I would be upset. He has sacrificed more than anyone. Which is why his burden must be lightened. It's the bad part about it taking a long break in an RPG. You just kind of way. forget half the story. Mankind needs you. Hendrik needs you. Will you stand beside him? No. Okay. Good. If we are able to withstand the assault tonight, we may yet survive. Join the troops outside no, the I won't stand by that guy I don't remember why I'm angry at. But he's a jerk, and his hair is purple. Clearly the sign of evil. Uh, it was a surprise, but apparently it's the 35th anniversary or whatever. The confetti. Okay. But it means that we will have some fun things to do at some point. I don't know. I don't know. It's like playing Mario games is usually not that interesting, I think. Yep, so they're releasing a bunch of new things or, you know, ports of old things to the Switch. Uh, just earlier today, Actually, you can just go ahead and be like, boop, boop. Uh, on the Super Nintendo Online, if you have that, then you have access to Super Mario 1, 2, and 3. They're also porting over... Uh, the new Super Mario Brothers, the one with the cat suit. Along with Bowser's Fury, whatever that means. I assume that'll have online play. 
I hope it has online play, like, otherwise, why would you get it? And then... They're releasing the... Super Mario 35, which is a Battle Royale for Super Mario 1. Everything you kill will go to someone else's screen. So you have a reason to rack up those points by murdering all the turtles. And then they have Super Mario 64, Sunshine, and Galaxy coming out as one game, but that's not important. No one cares about that. Everyone cares about that. I care about that. Just flat out saying, if we manage to get Super Mario Sunshine, I might consider trying to speedrun that after we beat it. Depends on how I feel about the controls being ported over, but I always wanted to play a platformer that does not involve super high class glitches. And Sunshine's kind of one of those. I just don't own a working one. But now I will, maybe. But anywho, everybody, if you can't tell by how I'm kind of just winding things down, I'm probably going to take a break here. I know it's a little bit shorter and later than usually... than the stream usually stops, but... I feel like this is a good stopping point before everything in Dragon Quest just kind of skyrockets up, and I probably need to go eat. I'm a fan of glitches, I'm just not a fan of doing them. They're always so exact when it comes to speedrunning stuff. Like, I would really like to play Majora's Mask and, like, do that speedrun, but you have to exactly know how to do, like, bomb jumping and all that stuff, and I've tried to learn how to do it, I can't do it. And, you know, once you learn it, you're like, oh, well, I get it. But, I tried, I failed. Could try more, but that requires ports that I do not have. But either way, thanks so much for watching Dragon Quest, despite how basically story heavy it was. I hope it was enjoyable to watch and listen to my ramblings. Eh, Mario Odyssey's okay, but kind of meh. It's good, but I don't know. I'll consider it if Sunshine doesn't work out. But for right now, I'm gonna go find some food and I'll talk to you all later. Have a good night, and again, I hope you really are enjoying the Dragon Quest. I don't know if we'll do anything tomorrow or whatnot, but I'm going to probably go back to working on the video I've been working on, so look forward to that. I decided that it's probably not going to be in parts, it's just going to come out as one thing. We'll take a bit longer to actually get it all set up to give you something to watch, but I feel like having it all together is better than having it in parts. Anywho. Bye for now, and have a good night. Thanks for watching.